Some kinds of Pokemon are a little more controversial than others, and one of the more controversial kinds of Pokemon are those that look like people. Aside from inanimate object Pokemon, human-shaped Pokemon seem to get the most flack in terms of the quality of their designs. In fact, some of the least popular Pokemon ever, such as Sock and Throw or even Jinx, are a part of this unique group. So why do Pokemon like this even exist? How do they exist? Well, today we're going to be answering that question, and it might just make these Pokemon a little bit cooler in your eyes than they might have been before. And speaking of things that are cool, one thing that is amazingly cool is the sponsor of today's video, Ridge Wallet. To put it bluntly, Ridge Wallet is basically the best wallet you could ever have and will make carrying stuff around in your pocket so much better. It holds up to 12 cards plus cash, all while being as slim and as sleek as could be. I've been using one for a good while now, and it is actually insane how much better this thing is than your typical everyday wallet that most people use. Don't just take my word for it though, because the Ridge Wallet also has 30,000 five-star reviews, it comes in over 30 colors and styles, so you can find one that is just right for you, it also has RFID blocking technology built in to keep your credit card information safe, and it even comes with a lifetime warranty, meaning that this is going to be the last wallet that you literally will ever buy. And as if that wasn't good enough already, it even comes with a 45-day money-back guarantee, so if for some reason you're just not feeling it, you can send it back and get a full refund. Ridge are even offering 10% off with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com forward slash hoops and entering code hoops at checkout. The link for that will be in the description. Thanks so much once again to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring the channel. Their support honestly makes such a huge difference in me being able to bring videos just like this one to all of you guys. So be sure to show them some love and check them out with the link in the description and pick up a wallet for either yourself or someone you know for the holidays coming up. But whoever you get one for, they are going to love it, I promise you. Okay, so getting into the Pokemon now, let's begin answering our question of why certain Pokemon exist that look like humans. When you're dealing with any kind of living thing and you want to know why it is the way it is, a good place to start is usually looking at its evolutionary history. Even though Pokemon traditionally evolve in a way that is much different than evolution in our own world, there is also evidence that they also evolve the same way living things do here as well, meaning that they adapt to their environment and change slowly over time. We can see evidence of this in Pokemon such as Sharpedo and Garchomp, who are clearly related to one another thanks to their similar appearance, but one of them branched off to live on land and one in the sea. Of course, this is also evident in regional variant Pokemon as well, where traditional Darwinian evolution is happening with no doubt whatsoever, because that's the whole point of the regional variant mechanic. So with the knowledge that traditional evolution occurs within Pokemon, could human-shaped Pokemon be evidence of this? Are Pokemon actually slowly evolving into people? Well, the answer is yes, they actually are. Not only does this idea make sense as a concept, since Pokemon are the equivalent to animals in the Pokemon world, and people of course evolved from apes themselves, but it's essentially outright confirmed within the games too. As a part of the Sinnoh folktales that can be read in the Canalave library in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, two stories are told that basically confirm that people evolved from Pokemon. For instance, Sinnoh Folk Story 2 says, There lived a Pokemon in a forest. In the forest, the Pokemon shed its hide to sleep as a human. Awakened, the human dons the Pokemon hide to roam villages. And Sinnoh Folk Story 3 says, There once were Pokemon that became very close to humans. There were once humans and Pokemon that ate together at the same table. It was a time when there existed no differences to distinguish the two. In fact, the original Japanese version of Folk Story 3 also mentions that Pokemon and people also married each other at one point. 
So with the games heavily implying that people did evolve from Pokemon and were at one point almost identical as a species, what more is there to say if it's already essentially been confirmed as true? Well, the confirmation of the Sinnoh folktales isn't exactly the end of this story. Since we now know definitively that people came from Pokemon, it makes it even more likely that the human-shaped Pokemon like Sock, Throw, Jinx, Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, etc. can be considered the closest living relatives to the human species. These Pokemon were, in effect, the jumping off point for humans just as apes were the starting point for people in our own world. That all seems to come together pretty well, and if you can believe it, there's actually direct evidence that human-shaped Pokemon are in fact the bridge between Pokemon and people. If we go all the way back to the very beginning of Pokemon existence, after Arceus created the world and everything that is, we will find Mew, as Mew is the ancestor to all Pokemon. And while Mew is able to use every move, which illustrates it having DNA of all the Pokemon types which it was then able to pass down, the type that it itself carries is the Psychic type. Meanwhile, on the other end of the evolutionary timeline, we have people. And although people are, well, people, and as such don't have any Pokemon types, we do know that their ancestors are Pokemon. So what type would humans have hypothetically? Well, while there are a few types that could fit humans fairly well as a species, I feel the one that fits the best is fighting. This is purely just a personal observation and my own opinion, but to me, fighting makes the most sense as a type for people when thinking about each type in the context of a person. Overall, this observation is one that I'm making independent of any other factors that we've talked about, which is why I don't see it as any coincidence that nearly all of the human-shaped Pokemon that are out there are either fighting or psychic type, if not both. For example, you've got Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, Machop, Machoke, Machamp, Sock, Throw, Timber, Girder, Conkeldur, Makuhita, Hariyama, Metatite, Metacham, and Gallade, all of whom are also psychic type by the way, and then on the psychic type side you have Jinx, Ralts, Curlia, Gardevoir, Gothita, Gotharita, Gothitelle, Mr. Mime, Mr. Rhyme, Hatrem, Hatterene, and the list goes on. It really is kind of crazy how exclusive these types of Pokemon are to at least one of these two types, with one of them more or less being the human type in fighting and the other being the type of the ancestor of all Pokemon in Mew. They carry the types, almost exclusively even, that represent each end of Pokemon's evolutionary spectrum, showing that these Pokemon are quite literally the bridge between people and Pokemon themselves. And although some of them might look a little goofy and awkward, that is a pretty cool and important role to have within the world of Pokemon, and one that makes these Pokemon, at least in my eyes, a lot cooler than I thought they were before. However, what do you think about this whole concept? Do you think it's cool these Pokemon sort of bridge the gap between Pokemon and people, or are you not as much of a fan? Let me know with a comment below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more Pokemon content. I'd also like to thank Ridge again for supporting the channel, their support really makes a difference, so be sure to check them out with the link in the description, and with that said, I'll be back very soon with another video, and until then, as always, I love you guys, and I will smell you guys later.